Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how I built this wall to isolate my garage workshop from the rest of my garage, and I'll give you a quick tour of my new shop on Dad It Yourself. All right, so here's today's project. I'm going to build a wall right here between this side, which is my shop, and that side, which is the garage where my wife likes to park her Mustang. And she is tired of me putting dust all over it. So what this wall is going to do, I'm going to have a 24 inch pocket right here, four feet deep, where my dust collection system is going to do. It's going to go down along the front of where this shelving unit is, all the way to the ceiling. And then over here, I'm going to frame in a doorway and then block all that off so I can have shelving for the shop here and segregate that from that shelving over there. And what I'm going to get started with first is the door. So I built this little jig here. Uh, the 2x4 here represents the bottom plate. This piece here represents the OSB that will be the sheeting. And then this just helps me index it against the wall and the drywall to show the placement of my bottom plate. I'll get my four foot level and go across. Okay, so that door is all framed in. See right there, top plate, the header. Only needs to be a two by four here. This is not a load bearing wall, just to give me an upper place for the door. Cripple right there. Get your jack stud and your king studs. Going down to your floor plate. Now these are not anchored into the concrete. I have construction adhesive on them, so I don't want to damage this floor in case, say I sell this house in the future and the next homeowner wants to take this out, so he can take this out. So there's that. Let's move on to the next wall. There's the bottom plate, and there's the top plate, and I have a stud down there, and a stud right here. And you're probably saying to yourself, why is he building the wall that way instead of just building it and putting it up in place? Well, this is a garage floor, and there's actually about a three inch difference between that wall there all the way to this last stud here. So I'm assuming that the ceiling is level. So I put the top plate down, put the bottom plate down, and then size the stud in between to provide sufficient pressure down to hold the wall in place. Let's keep working. So that's the plan I've been working off of. And if we pan out and focus some more, looks like I nailed it. All over there, around the corner. That's where the dust collection system is going to go. All right, got to start with the electrical rough in now. So I measured up 44 inches on the highest stud and then drew a level line around the room. I'm going to use single gain boxes for uh, the power and then down at the end I'm going to put a switch to turn on my dust collection and a GFI in there to protect the circuits. Let's get started on that.
So I finished all the electrical rough in and getting ready to put the wall panels up. If you're interested in how I do electrical, I have another video and I'll put a link right up here somewhere so you can take a look at that as well. couple hours worth of work, six sheets of OSB, and these walls are done. People ask me, well, why OSB and not drywall? OSB is eight bucks, drywall is 12 bucks. You do the math. Let's get this door done now. Okay, so got the drywall done in here. Mom it yourself wanted this finished. I do not claim to be an expert on drywall, but it actually wasn't that hard. Let's get some mud on this and then that'll be good for that. So I made these lumber rack brackets out of some scrap OSB and 2x4s I had laying around. Pretty simple, little angle on them, some uh, inch and a quarter or two inch screws I think. And then I'm just going to mount these into the studs using three inch uh, T25 screws. So uh, let's check that out. So there's the completed side of the garage with the drywall up and the shelves I built. I'm in the process of moving stuff from in there out to here and then moving the shop stuff into there. So that's what it looks like here. Yep, there's the uh, sh propeller shadow box. Had to come back to me for some repairs, got damaged. Uh, so I'll be fixing that up. 
Let's take a walk into the shop now through the door. There's my sticker wall. If you want to swap stickers, send me a DM on Instagram. Got plenty of room. Okay, got all my lumber racks up. Really made a difference. Here is the completed wall here with all the outlets in there and the dust collection right there in its corner and it is controlled by this switch right here which is kind of awesome and i still have to build my miter station and my two flip tops for the drill press and the bandsaw and another flip top for the grinder where's the grinder oh the grinders down there and the sander which is over here and then i also have to put more french cleat on this wall because i have all of these tools still kind of tucked in this corner that don't have a home yet and then I still have to build the table saw stand for that as well. So that actually turned out to be a little bit of a shop tour as well. But, yep, there's the wall I built. Makes a huge difference. Makes it a little, uh, feel like a little smaller in here, but it's actually the exact same square footage it was before I put the wall up. And I actually have more space to store tools now. So there it is. So that's my build video on this new wall. See my plan right there? Followed it to a T. I was really fortunate that when I was growing up, my dad showed me how to frame a wall, do drywall, and do electrical. So I went back to those skills. But also, if you want to see a really good video on how to build a wall or build up a shop, check out Johnny Brooks on Crafted Workshop. I'll put a link down in the description to him. He did a great set of videos on building up his new workshop. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on this video, put those down in the comments. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's right there. Hey, thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.